you know, no matter what the difference is, no matter what the the doctrine is, if it be the mark of the beast, if you feel it's the chip, or we feel it's whatever philosophy Esau put. You know, no matter what the difference is, no matter what the the doctrine is, if it be the mark of the beast, if you feel it's the chip, or we feel it's whatever philosophy Esau put. The spirit is going to come down and say, that's the truth. Don't go to no other doctrine. Don't go to uh, no other philosophy. You know, no matter what the difference is, no matter what the the doctrine is, if it be the mark of the beast, if you feel it's the chip, or we feel it's whatever philosophy Esau put. So there's the spirit is going to come down and say, that's the truth. Don't go to no other doctrine. Don't go to uh, no other philosophy. If you want to push a doctrine that you feel is, is right in your heart, push that doctrine. So there's... The spirit is going to come down and say, that's the truth. Don't go to no other doctrine. Don't go to uh, no other philosophy. You know, no matter what the difference is, no matter what the the doctrine is, if it be the mark of the beast, if you feel it's the chip, or we feel it's whatever philosophy Esau put. So there's, the spirit is going to come down and say, that's the truth. Don't go to no other doctrine. Don't go to uh, no other philosophy. If you want to push a doctrine that you feel is, is right in your heart, push that doctrine. So there's... The spirit is going to come down and say, that's the truth. Don't go to no other doctrine. Don't go to uh, no other philosophy. If you want to push a doctrine that you feel is, is right in your heart, push that doctrine. If you want to push a doctrine that you feel is, is right in your heart, push that doctrine. 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 I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka. With Dosh and double honors to the apostles and the elders is a quamium of great millstone. Also, a shalom to the elect. And I'm going in again on a controversial video. Uh, it's with these guys, Adam Abbott or Abbott and um, Wi-Fi or WFI cold cuts. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm going in on this video because there was a uh, question asked on uh, the GMS Walk and Talk 8, uh, Apostle Gabar, uh, a head apostle, one of the head apostles of, uh, of Great Millstone, one of my teachers, okay? And I just want to answer that question, but before that, I just wanted to show you at the beginning of the clip that these guys are hypocrites, Okay. You know, one guy on one of his channels say, well, you know, it's about getting the right doctrine and the Lord dwelling with you to give you the right doctrine. And the other guy is saying, uh, bro Brother Amos or whatever his name is, I'm not sure. He's saying, no matter what do doctrine you use, just push it. So are they out for the elect? You know, are they really out to for, for the, the elect of Israel, which we don't believe so? So what are you doing? Are you trying to throw the elect under the bus by saying, look, man, push whatever doctrine you want. But us guys, we're going to try to make sure we keep the right doctrine. But everybody else, to hell with you and your doctrine. Now, the scripture says you're supposed to try to convince and exhort the gainsayers. So we can clearly see that these guys don't know the Bible or the scriptures like they should. Maybe precepts, but they don't quite understand the scriptures. That, you know, and I understand the scripture says, seek your salvation, but these guys, they're throwing a mixed message out there, okay? They're saying, Lord, to dwell with you with one doctrine, and then the other guy saying, push that doctrine, put in whatever doctrine you want to push. I don't know, it sounds very confusing to me. Uh, this does not sound like men of the Lord, okay? This is a uh, very disturbing behavior uh, coming from men of the Lord, you know? And we, we can see that, you know, a lot of these guys, they always come to stone to learn. Secretly, they are. They're not going to tell you they are. That's why when their video goes up, okay, on lessons, they're learning it, okay? That's how they learned the confusion of face. They learned that from Great Millstone. But are they keeping it? They're still kind of shying away from it. They still believe in it, but you'll never see many videos go up on a confusion of face. Why? Because their audience will bash them. These men are afraid. They are afraid 
of, of the audience, okay? They are afraid of losing members and views. And as they say, I like views, but if I liked views, I'd be right along with them. Not even with them, but alongside them. Pushing my own thing, trying to make all kinds of excitement, exciting videos, okay? Cutting the white man, okay, which I do anyway, okay? Um, but, you know, another disturbing thing is that these guys, their fan base is niggas. The majority of them, I don't, I'm not saying there ain't some sincere people in their fan base, but the majority of them are niggas, you know. When I start receiving inboxes and threats and, uh, you know, all kind of wicked statements, you know, I, you, wish, you wish that I die and things like that, all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, these can't be the, the men of the Lord, okay? These people that follow them cannot be in the truth. So I can't understand why these guys uh, even really represent uh, a heavy fan base. But anyway, let's get to the lesson. Uh, these guys, okay, they had a question, okay? And I'll go to that question as of right now. Okay, the question is, okay, this is Adam Abbott, okay? Adam Abbott, it says, since the elder can't and won't answer and use sarcasm to deflect, can anyone from GMS, and I'm from GMS, let me know if the entire 144,000 is in GMS, or will they teach what GMS teaches word for word, okay? Will there be members of the 144,000 in other camps, three questions that need Three answers. Okay. Uh, which is a legitimate question, believe it or not. I, I, you know, I think he's upset and he's kind of scoffing with the question, but it's a legitimate question and I'll answer it. Uh, so today, I'll go a little light on him. <laughs> so, so uh, goes on to say, what's the first question? Can GM, GMS let me know if the entire 144,000 is in GM, GMS? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The entire 144,000 is, and I would say, most likely not. Most likely not. Why? Because you have guys that drop out of the GMS doctrine all the time. We can't tell you who's uh, the elect at this point. That would like that, that would be like saying, hey, we're all sealed in GMS. No. So this is where it gets interesting. Let's go to the second question. Or will they teach what GMS teaches word for word? Yes. So technically, all 144,000 will be of the Great Millstone Doctrine. We believe that it's a doctrine, a doctrine that Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, uh brought to this earth for, for the elect. And we believe the Great Millstone Doctrine is of the elect. And not only that, we have faith and believe in that. And if you guys in your groups had any, in your group had any kind of faith, you would believe that your doctrine is about the 144,000. IUIC would believe that their doctrine is about the 144,000. IUBK, GOCC, and so forth. Now, is it not to say that somebody in the uh, Wi-Fi or Adam Abbott community is not the elect? Absolutely not. We can't say that. It's a possibility that a couple of you guys that in this Adam Abbott group may be of the elect. But the only way to be of the elect is through the Great Millstone Doctrine, okay? Now, further ado, let's get some more, uh, let me get a scripture before I go to that. I'll go further. This is 2 John 1 and 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, it doesn't say these doctrines, okay? So when this guy said word for word, word for word meaning basically, the entire doctrine. And the word for word, the only thing that matters word for word is the prophecy. Okay? That's what matters word for word. The whole doctrine matters, but the main thing is the prophecy. That's what matters. Okay? Now, we may have differences on certain things, but as far as the prophecy, the doctrine itself, yes, is going to be of great millstone. Okay? And we believe that. Okay? Um, do, it says, go on to say, uh, receive him not in your house. And a house is not just some building, okay? 
some dwelling place that you guys may not, you may know this, you may not. A house is a people before a place. So we can't receive another doctrine in our community, okay? In our, in our faith, in our doctrine, okay? Now you can read this to a Jehovah Witness and not let them into your house, but you got all kinds of people that come into your house. You got your own family members that live in your house that ain't right. So what is this talking about? Okay? And it goes on to say, neither bid him Godspeed. Okay? So if you come with some other doctrine, and this is how serious this doctrine is, because Brother Amos said, it doesn't matter. These are all little things that shouldn't matter. These are very big things, because you changed the doctrine. So we cannot go on with the Lord, Yahweh 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 Shah, bringing this message saying, well, look, if you take this chip, you're going to be condemned. And then another group saying, well, we don't agree with, you know, even taking the chip, but it's not the mark of the beast. It's one or the other. It's either the mark of the beast, microchip, or it's not. Okay? You can't uh, ride, the, ride the fence on this. It's what it is. Don't try to slither your way out of it. How is it? That, now, we're saying the mark of the beast is the chip. If you're saying it's wicked and not to take it, you should be admitting it's, it's the mark of the beast. You should be admitting that. But I get people come on the page and try to uh, swirl it around and make a, another excuse for it. Look, man, you're not teaching what we're teaching, okay? You're teaching uh, a false Sabbath. Although, you know, you, you, you let you guys, if that's the Sabbath you want to follow, you follow it. But we're not in the same mindset on that, okay? You guys don't believe in that. You're, you're just parroting what your teachers taught you, okay? Anyway... If they're coming to, uh, uh, any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not, neither, uh, uh, not, uh, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. So let's go back to the uh, question three. Or will they teach what GMS teaches word for word? Will there be members of the 144,000 in other camps? Yes, it will. And that's what I just implied earlier, that you're going to have some other camps Somebody may be in GOCC who believed the so-called white man can make it. He might say, you know what? That's not the truth, okay? Uh, this guy, Captain Desariac, he may be of the elect. I don't know. But they will be teaching the Great Millstone Doctrine. The only way you're going to be of the elect, and, and, and hear this clearly, if you're teaching the mark of the beast is the microchip. Anything else, you're off, okay? And the reason why I say that, because that is through salvation, okay? The Lord didn't just make it easy. There's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. You guys know this. What's going to be in Jacob's trouble, okay? There's going to be a physical test that you're going to have to endure, okay? And a physical test ain't going to be you starving in the house and Lord giving you some lamb, okay? Or it's going to be cold or it's going to be too hot. Now, that's going to be a physical test that's going to test your strength and your faith, your spirit. Let's say that. And that's going to be the microchip, okay? Uh, brother answered the question right on point. GMS feed the flock. Now, I beseech you, brethren, okay, by the name of the Lord, Yahweh, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye perfectly be joined together joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Now, that's a powerful scripture because the same judgment is going into the mark of the beast. We have to believe in the same judgment that's going to come. You guys don't, okay? You guys don't believe in that. 1 Corinthians 14.33, for, uh, it goes on to say, For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, okay, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So you guys think the saints, and I'm not sure how you teach. A lot of people think the saints is just Israelites. No, the saints is the elect Israelites. And the elect is not going to have a bunch of different uh, views on prophecy. It's just not going to happen. The elect is going to believe that the microchip, okay? Because if you, if you can imagine, when the Lord seals his elect and he comes to deliver, and you got 10,000, well, you got 50,000 prophets saying, that's not the mark of the beast. Okay? 
You got the other prophets saying, well, yeah, it is the mark of the beast. There's going to be a big problem, okay? You're going to throw everything off. Because when the Lord returns, you may not even believe it's the Lord because you, you haven't followed the prophecies. You know, this thing goes real deep, man, okay? Ephesians 4, 4, there is one body and one spirit as ye, as ye are called and one hope of your calling, okay? So this is important that with, with this mark of the beast prophecy, you, your whole 144,000 is going to speak of the same prophecy. They're going to speak in the same mind, okay? They're not going to have divisions. The scripture says mark them that cause divisions, okay? What divisions, okay? The littlest things can be divisions, okay? Little obscurities can be divisions that you have to try to mark. And, uh, and you have to debate. This is why the scripture says debate. These guys are saying don't debate. Okay? Now, it really amongst our own, we would have to debate to get things together. But, you know, and here's another problem. You know, what makes us so much more faithful at Great Millstone? I'll tell you what makes us much, much more faithful. Okay? And really, the, the more you hate us, we show love to y'all more than y'all show to us. And how is that? How is that? When those Christians battled IUIC, IUIC, we supported IUIC against those Christians. With Brother J, okay? When Vocab Alone battled ISUPK, we supported ISUPK. When James White supported, G, uh, debated GOCC, the uh, Elder Rakov GOCC, Great Millstone st supported them, okay? When Zabak got debated by the black conscious community, Great Millstone supported them. We're the supporters of all of you guys, man. We're the ones who support all of you guys. But when these camps come against us, there's nobody to support us. Why? Because all we need is the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's all I have on that. Shalom.